beautiful. It really is like this little, this little paradise. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's so quiet right now. It's so beautiful that we get to experience it like this. Um, and I'm really excited to see what it's like when it's filled with people too. So, I mean, I don't even know what to think. You know, I've seen videos, um, you know, I've seen clips and things like that about, about the festival and it's gonna be something very new for me. You know, I've been to festivals, but nothing like this. Nothing like this, yeah. I love this place and I want to work again in here and want, I have uh, many ideas and want to work with other artists that are here right now and yes we want to make something, we want to make something. Trip festival. Then uh, at some point, of course, somebody mentioned Ozora, and uh, you have to come to Hungary. And it's gonna be super chill. Uh, so yeah, in this way, just got here, and um, I really liked it. Just everybody's got so much talent seriously it's it's ridiculous how dedicated and how passionate so many of the artists are here you know you can tell so many of them are doing it because they love it you know there's they're doing it because they really love this and that's that's what really gets me that there's so many people that are here for the love you know because it's, it hits them here and they just can't they they have to do something like this so it gives me it gives me hope <laughs> that we actually make a very big and wide open call for all artists around the world to be able to apply and to come and so that they can show their work. This year we have got 120 something applications so it was very very hard to choose and pick a very few so the applications went on from basically January till May and we got applications from many different kind of categories from live art to sculpting to installations video art painting many many crazy wild ideas so at the end it was possible to pick seven eight things 
Uh, that's what we had the budget set for and these were the projects we all agreed on that they would be very nice and they would fit the Zorian Valley really nicely. And also this year is very special because we have a whole new platform for all of the arts. So we had the, the new Arty Barn which gave space to a lot of um, workshops and artists. We have the tower, uh, the Mirador, for the art gallery, and in this big place uh, around these places, we could we could really have art and art projects, and this is a really nice combination of the selected art. I was born as a painter since 1999 because of the Zora in 1999. Uh, after the Zora in 1999, it was an Eclipse Festival. Then uh, when I came back home, I started to buy fluorescent color and painting crop cycles at the beginning and fantasy words and what I felt in my mind, very crazy drawings at the beginning. This idea of the UV forest is an idea that started from the Neko and Marty. I feel free, so I'm doing this just for me. And the Azora situation gives me the possibility to work as a creative. And uh, I see the Azorian people, and I feel the Azorian people, the organizer, I mean, uh, really nice people, really friendly. They, they, they really can help us to make something. And uh, of course, I have to say that Azora in my life take uh, a special place at the end. Also because it was the f my first festival and, uh, and then it gave me the possibility then for the first time in my life to work in a festival last year.
uh, the artistic point of view. You know, they gave me a big, uh, big space, uh, a pretty wide uh, choice, uh, artistic choice, uh, where a lot of people can come and uh, if they have uh, some faith in you, you can really do nice stuff. So this is one part why I would like to come back uh, next year and the next and the next because uh, it's good people and uh, the possibility of art is great here. And the second is the people. <laughs> The people and the music, so it's three things, the music, the art point of view, and the people. I don't feel like I'm even working most of the time um, in this environment, and um, I'm, I'm able to do things in a, a lot more the way that I want to. Um, obviously, it's smaller. I'm not like I'm not doing the things I was doing when I was working in an office, but it's so much more fulfilling. I feel so much better at the end of the day. I'm outside, you know. Um, I'm not in an office, <laughs> which is great. And uh, then, you know, when we're done, we get to go fucking crazy. So, <laughs> with all this stuff that we made, you know. So. I've found that in festivals and this global festival culture that's just absolutely amazing, it's not only do people know what it is, people welcome it and love it. So I've, I've decided to just kind of put a lot more energy into this world and a lot less into the industry of architecture. It's, it's nice too because in this environment there's so many people that are, everyone's so supportive of it, you know, and everyone is, really wants to see you do your thing and do, see how you, how you express yourself. Welcome home. <laughs>